Teaching Tool Time. Hi, and welcome back to Teaching Tool Time. Now with a quick Moodle tip that hopefully might come in handy for you. As you see from our test course, and also from the default course template, the names and contents of resources or activities do not follow the language selection made by the user. At best, this can be mildly annoying and show unnecessary clutter, but at worst it prevents users from finding relevant information due to language issues. So what can you do? Moodle has by default the multi-language filter enabled. You can check this from your course filters to make sure. But you need to write the content yourself in all the languages you need, as well as to tell Moodle in some way which piece of text is written in which language. Here's how to do it. First, turn the editing mode on. Then select the element you want to edit. And finally, write the content in all languages you need to. To tell Moodle which part is in which language, you need to surround the different language parts with span elements, stating that A, this text has multiple language options, and B, which text needs to be shown to match the user's language selection. For name fields, you can just insert the code around the text. For the content text, you might want to write the text first in all the desired languages in the standard editor, and then edit in the span elements accordingly with the HTML tag editor. If you are more versed in HTML, you can of course write the entire section with the tag editor directly as well. And now, as you see, the sections that were edited with these multi-language tags are now shown with the language the user has selected. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.